How's it going, folks? Uh, I can't sleep. It's like 2.55. Oh, well. At least... See, I'm usually a day shift guy. Now I'm working the swing shift, and I hate that shift. I'll work any other shift. <laughs> uh, it's not that I'm busy. It's that I'm working by myself, and it's... Feast and famine, feast and famine, boredom and panic, boredom and panic. <laughs> it's, I can't get used to the rhythm of it and haven't been sleeping good. I was up till about three in the morning yesterday. Oh, well, one more day after one more day. And what the fuck? I don't have to be up till, I don't have to be at work until 3.30 p.m. So <laughs> this will help me sleep. It's always worked. <laughs> this is a miracle if you have insomnia. I'm in the living room because I do most of my videos in the bedroom. And I don't want to keep people up. I'm even trying to keep my voice down. But I got a little microphone. I hope that will help. All right. Chapter 27. We start with a drink. I already had one. It reminded me I should read the Book of Mormon. Tossing and turning, going, can't sleep. I need something boring to put me out of my misery. <laughs> this is good as gold. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I've already had a shot before I started this video. And it's like, oh, that reminds me. Better than the first. Ah, there it is. Sorry, folks. Chapter 27 of Mosiah. And now it came to pass that the persecutions which were inflicted on the church by the unbelievers became so great that the church began to murmur and complain to their leaders concerning the matter. And they did complain to Alma. And Alma laid the case before their king, Mosiah. And Mosiah consulted with his priests. And it came to pass that King Mosiah sent a proclamation throughout the land round about that there should not any unbeliever persecute any of those who belong to the church of God. So, uh-oh. So that's verse 2 of chapter 27. Point the finger at me. I'm not persecuting anybody. I'm just give it the old uh, once over here. Nice, a cold reading, and I'm telling you what I'm thinking as I go on along because got to do something to make this interesting. <laughs> yeah, and there was a strict command throughout the church, all the churches, that there should be no persecutions among them. There should be an equality among all men. Isn't that nice? That they should let no pride nor haughtiness disturb their peace. That every man should esteem his neighbor as himself, laboring with their own hands for their support. Yay! <laughs> and all their priests and teachers should labor with their own hands 
for their support. <laughs> in all cases, save it were in sickness. <laughs> then you get a little time off. That's mighty wide of you. <laughs> uh, yay! Oh, or in much want and doing these things, they did abound in the grace of God. And there began to be much peace, much peace. <laughs> it's verse 6 of 27. And there began to be much peace again in the land. Doesn't that sound so antique? <laughs> and the people began to be very numerous <laughs> and began to scatter abroad upon the face of the earth. Yay! On the north and on the south and on the east and on the west building large cities and villages in all quarters of the land. And the Lord did visit them and prosper them, and they became, became a large and wealthy people at all points of the compass. <sighs> now the sons of Mosiah were numerous among the... Wait. And now the sons of Mosiah were numbered among the non-believers. And also one of the sons of Alma was numbered among them, his, he being called Alma. <laughs> Alma Jr. There's a little trend there. Think about this. Joseph Smith Jr. And I'm a junior named after my dad, and now there's Alma Jr., and we've all kind of... <laughs> I don't know where it's going with that. <laughs> I'm fucking tired. <laughs> yeah, must mean some fucking shit. <laughs> or not. <laughs> Probably doesn't. <laughs> Nevertheless, he became a very wicked and an idolatrous man, and he was a man of many words, and did speak much flattery to the people. <laughs> Therefore he led many of the people to do after the manner of, of his iniquities. <laughs> And he became a gr a great hinderment to the prosperity of the church of God, stealing away the hearts of the people, causing much dissension among the people, giving a chance for the enemy of God to exercise his power over them. I should be able to sleep after this. There it is. Uh, oh, that's right. Oh, maybe I can do it. And now, it came to pass that while he was going about to destroy the church of God, for he did go about secretly 
with the sons of Mosiah, seeking to destroy the church and to lead astray the people of the Lord. Contrary to the commandments of God, or even the king. <laughs> and as I said unto you, as they were going about rebelling against God, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto them. So one ought to be popping up right about now to scold me. I would change my ways, but it doesn't seem to be happening. Anyway, plenty of opportunities. I'm not done with this book yet. An angel could show up any time, and I'll delete every video if that happens, if he wants me to. Uh, <laughs> the sons of Mosiah seeking to destroy the church and to lead astray the people of the Lord, contrary to the commandments of, the, of God, or even the king. And as I said unto you, as they were going about rebelling against God, <laughs> I'm repeating myself. <sighs> Behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto them, and he descended, as it were, in a cloud. <laughs> in a cloud. In a cloud. He descended in a, in a cloud, as it were. And he spake. <laughs> <laughs> and he speak as it were with a voice of thunder. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that's funny right now. I don't know why that was funny, but I. I'm all right. <laughs> It were <laughs> I'm gonna sleep really good now. Oh my god. Or whatever. <laughs> A voice of thunder which caused the earth to shake upon which he stood. <laughs> and so great was their astonishment that they fell to the earth and understood not the words which he spake unto them. Shades of Saul of Tarsus on the road to Antioch. Why are you persecuting me? This is Jesus talking. I know we've never met. Even though, weren't you in Jer Jerusalem the whole fucking time I was doing my shit? How come, how come we never met? Except in the spirit world of dreams. <laughs> oh. See, you just got to take all these people's word for it. They know what's good for you. Get inside that little box. <laughs> oh, where the fuck was I? <laughs> uh.
Uh. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know who the fuck I am. Oh, earth shaking upon which he stood, and so great was their astonishment that they fell to the earth and un understood not the words which he spake unto them. So what was the point? Wake them up. <laughs> so they're just like Paul. I mean Saul, excuse me. <laughs> uh, yeah, so anyway. Nevertheless, he cried again. So the, they made the angel repeat himself. At least he didn't make him read a book this time. I couldn't believe <laughs> Read this. Now they're at least delivering verbal messages like most angels do. <laughs> uh, nevertheless, he cried again, saying, Alma, that's Alma Jr., Alma Jr., arise and stand forth. For why per persecuteth thou the church of God? Yeah, shades of Acts of the Apostles. For the Lord hath said, This is my church, and I will establish it, and nothing shall overthrow it save it is the transgression of my people. There's always this easy out for God, isn't there? Gee, you almost made it. Many shall be called, but few will be chosen. Sorry. <laughs> That's really sad. <sighs> And again, the angel said, Behold, the Lord hath, the, hath heard the prayers of his people and also the prayers of his servant Alma, who is thy father. <laughs> For he has prayed with much faith concerning thee that thou mightest be brought to the knowledge of the truth. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Come on, it's good as gold. <laughs> I'm delirious. Excuse me. I sh shouldn't be doing videos in this disgraceful state. Uh, he's heard the prayers of his people and the prayers of his servant Alma, who is thy father, for he has prayed with much faith concerning thee that thou mightest be brought to the knowledge of the truth. Therefore, for this purpose, have I come to convince thee of the power and authority of God? All right. Nothing between you and me but air and opportunity. <laughs> I am fucking rambling. Yeah. A fucking angel came to this guy to convince him of all this shit. Well, in that, in that case, I'm, I gotta cry. Foul. Foul, motherfuckers. You fucking pricks, if that's true. Think about it. Well, it's a fucking angel. I don't know. <sighs> I can't finish this video. Sorry. I need to 